Hello everyone, this is your girl Sugary Girl Candy 2012. I'm here to bring you guys a new video. So this is a very interesting topic and um, this is a topic that I should have made and discussed uh, literally about mm, maybe two, three, well about, let me say about, I'm just going to to say about two weeks ago but you know considering all the um uncharted 4 controversy and everything that was happening with that game you know it got completely overshadowed for me but i did keep everything you know on the side you know so i can reference it and come back to it later so anyway um this is something that really caught me by surprise but then again it didn't because you know Maybe this may sound wrong as shit, but, you know, <laughs> Microsoft have always came off as a company that was kind of pro-white America and stuff like that. And um, so it wasn't really that big of a surprise. But, you know, um, anyway, <laughs> so I, I've read this article several times already, you know, and I just find it absolutely crazy that um, Microsoft will make this huge of a fuss over having a black person on their cover and um a person that worked for Lionhead, you know, said it, it made him really upset and it made him angry and they was just going back and forth cursing at each other. Y'all can see it in the in the um pictures I post. But they was going back and forth and they was screaming at each other and they just said, you know, Microsoft with the okay, so what was the most unsuccessful Disney film? And they said the Prince and the Frog is, so what the fuck do you think that means? Obviously having a black person on the cover of a game isn't gonna be successful. And then at that, a black woman. Y'all really tripping. <laughs> Basically in Microsoft words, but in um I just find it really weird and crazy like uh, also, you can see in this article, uh, Naughty Dog were asked to um, for The Last of Us to not have um, Ellie uh, on the cover, period, point blank. And they said they absolutely hated that idea because, you know, Naughty Dog are all about, I don't know, they're very, let me say, I don't want to say flexible company because that might not be the right term to use for the situation. But um, I'm just going to just use it. So uh, it's whatever. Um, so, yeah, they're a very flexible gaming developer, developing company. And so, uh, you know, I don't want to say they don't they don't like to be traditional because, you know, obviously Drake is a white male. He's on the cover of a game, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'm just going to say they do like to be different and they do like to like toss out ideas and uh, shit I don't know where I'm going with this I don't know how I'm gonna expand upon that but I'm just gonna say they're a very flexible company and um it's crazy that people are so quick to say Sony are racist and or people are racist towards Sony calling them rice eaters and all types of racist shit and um uh all throwing all types of ignorant shit towards them and saying they're they're racist and you know uh then they say naughty dog are racist well let me just say they say sony are racist and then people won't have a nerve to try to say naughty dog are racist because um they had nadine uh well let me say spoiler alert <laughs> spoiler alert for uncharted 4 it's not a big spoiler y'all but i'm pretty sure many of you already know this nadine which is the main antagonist of UC4, she's black, and if many of you don't know, she is voiced by Laura Bailey. She's a very popular voice actor in gaming business, um, and uh, a lot of people were upset that at the fact that uh, Naughty Dog chose a white woman to uh, to voice Nadine. And what I found crazy about that is when people were calling them racist and calling them all types of dumb, ignorant shit. What I found crazy about that is I don't see how people can be so ignorant and so stupid enough to attach a voice to a certain color of race. Like, not every black person is going to sound hood and say dog and homie and stuff like that. Not every white person is going to be proper and, you know, say like and da 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 because there are plenty. I know plenty of uh, people who are white, who are uh, Hispanic, who don't talk like, you know, 
you know don't talk like what you would think they should be talking like they don't talk like that so it was a very ignorant thing to, to think and say that every black person is supposed to sound hood and you know every black person is supposed to sound you know it's hood and every white person is supposed to sound proper and stuff like that when we know that's not true like i, I have friends who were um who were fool fool excuse me <laughs> who said uh people who seen them after they after hearing their voice and who seen them say oh i thought you was white oh, oh i thought you was black and stuff like that because of the way you sound so i ain't even gonna lie though i have i had a lot of that too when i heard the voices of some people which is why again it's pretty ignorant to try to attach voice to a race or a color because anybody can sound like anything so it's really ridiculous and really stupid to even think like that so it was really dumb for people to call naughty dog out for being racist and stuff like that when any black person could sound just like laura bailey and vice versa so <laughs> it was really stupid to think and say that and call them racist and whatnot and they're the most flex one of the most flexible companies in a uh, gaming business alongside um uh rockstar excuse me so I don't know. I just think this is really ignorant. It just made me lose whatever respect that I had from Microsoft. It just made me lose a little bit more. So, you know, it just made me lose a little bit more respect for them after reading this. And um, it just just screams pro white America. It doesn't scream for every gamer. It just screams just for white people. And for Sony's console, people call them all types of races and call them all types of ignorant shit. But they're for everybody. They're not just for Japanese. They're for every race, every color. They're for every type of gamer. So, I don't know. This is, like, really, man. Like, I don't know anybody that can... I don't know, man. I would just feel real funny if somebody came onto my video and tried to defend this shit. Like, real talk. Because if you can sit here with a straight face and defend this type of fuckery, then you're not really a gamer. I don't know. Well, I don't know what to call you for real, to be honest. I don't know. But gaming should be for everyone. It shouldn't just be pointed towards certain races and certain people and colors and stuff like that because then you're not going to get many supporters and you're not your product isn't going to be enticing enough to say, you know, to have people wanting to buy it like it's just gonna push people away because right now i can tell you right now this has definitely pushed any uh anything anything in my head that said i, I may get this because of this game or that game definitely said oh hell to the nogs i will not support this fuckery not today <laughs> not to freaking day but um <sighs> Uh uh uh. Hell, it's, it's I'll just say, to say in general, like I don't support any type of gaming company who has this mentality, this this only for a certain race type of mentality. I don't support any gaming company that does that. I don't care if they're on Sony. I don't care if they're on Microsoft. I don't support that type of bullshit. And I will feel real fucked up if I go out and purchase this console after reading this article. And you know, this article is just going to stick in my freaking head. Like, okay, hold on. If they don't like black people, or they don't like black people being in their games, or they don't like black people being on their cups, or whatever the case may be, then yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's 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 even more crazier that so many developers are just so afraid of having a female protagonist and a female on their cover because they believe it won't sell well and they believe like i don't know this is some <laughs> some 1950s thinking right here man it's just like no developers are willing to take risks and every developer is just doing the same thing doing a traditional type of thing of st sticking your typical you know white mill and on the cover of their games and nobody's willing to take a risk with their characters and stuff like that you know i want to see something different i don't know about y'all but i like different you know sony games do give me that difference thank goodness so i don't see how you can give a, a company that gives you so many choices in games and the variety and the genres i don't see how a company like that can get so much shit compared to a company who is pro-white america who literally don't give too many fucks about their developers with how many developing studios they have closed within the last four three to four months and what they've been doing to their developers and uh 
the type of games they're forcing them to make that they don't want to make and like this is insane like i don't know man i just <laughs> i give kudos to the people who still support them and who still who still support them who still take up for them and defend them and stuff like that because i don't see how y'all do it bro like i only defend the company if i know you know they're all good and they're truthful to you know being for the gamers and being for everyone but not if it's some bullshit like this so anyway it is what it is i'm gonna leave the question of the day at the end of the video if i missed anything i would definitely put it in the annotation in the description or in the comments somewhere um uh yeah i'll leave the question of the day at the end of the video you guys can let me know what you think about this insane situation and i will definitely get to you guys as quickly as i can thank you for watching and subscribing if you did it is highly appreciated and i will talk to you guys later